Guys, what's up? It is Doug. Welcome to another edition of Spooky Villages. And hey, quick shout out to my friend Lori. She loaned me some other buildings. If you guys like that Department 56 Monsters of the Deep review, she actually hooked me up with a few more here I'm going to be talking about over the next few videos, uh, some of the rare Department 56 pieces. And I've got a great one for you today. This is the Black Cat Diner. This is one of the classic Department 56 pieces. And not just pieces, but this is actually a gift set. I love when they have this style of art here. You can see... It shows some of the scenes here and the highlights about it. This one actually has a description. I love this when the buildings do have descriptions. Department 56, some of them do, um, not all of them, but let me read this one. Have a seat at the counter or take a peek through the side window to see flashing lights and a surprise. Either way, you might be in for a scare. The weary waitress can't wait to take your order and the skeleton crew inside is eager to make you a meal you won't soon forget. This includes the accessory, You Go First, depicting a group of young trick-or-treaters who aren't sure if they'll get a trick or treat at this diner. Guys, here's the diner. So this is another one of those showpiece Department 56 pieces that this one doesn't have a soundtrack and the lighting isn't even necessarily extravagant. It's nicely lit, I'll show you in a moment, but the details here are amazing. The um, This is a prime example of Department 56 quality on some of the better pieces. So first off, this black cat, which is fuzzy, and his eyes light up, you'll see in a moment here. He actually, you see the plug-in, you have to put him in on the top here and make sure that his face is out because otherwise you won't get the thing lit. Um, anyways, he presses in there and he, he fits nice and snug. So this diner, let's look at some of the details here because it's chock full of them. Of course, you know that you have the cat, but also this black cat and like the cartoonish font and the sign, I love this. Look at this scene here, this lights up. I'll show you in a minute, the internal scene. And here you have actually somebody here. I love how it, it, the diner, it has like the diner counter and uh, the decor and everything. This is a it just, this is a very atmospheric piece over here. You have this, the little bench with the, uh, the hat on it. And even the back of this building with the fridge out there, look at this. Um, just details all the way around. Finish on this is beautiful. The paint job on this is beautiful. And like a lot of Department 56 pieces too, you have some different things here, I, I, uh, different textures. I love this tree that is coming up through the building. You can see the top here, just the devil's in the details. Looks amazing. Um, really quick here, I will show you too. It comes with a couple accessories. This one here, this uh, You Go First accessory, it's one of the trick or treater uh, pieces that Department 56 has so many of these and a lot of them come in gift sets you can't buy them separately this one looked great I love the hanging pumpkin with the trick-or-treaters there it, it just it, they look great um, the Department 56 figures are big though just FYI they're very detailed but they're bigger than Lee Max ones typically so you just want to know that and it also comes with this tree that you can see here also some maple leaves too i'm not going to put the maple leaves out i don't like to get those out unless i'm really doing the display because they go everywhere so you can see here what it looks like lit up again this one isn't uh it's not like a beacon it's not going to attract all the attention um, but the lighting the way it blinks and the way the cat has the eyes up there i love that the one critique i would give here that would really push this into the absolute all-timer is if that black cat sign was lit wouldn't that be cool if that was like neon or i mean i mean not even neon what if it was just regular lit that would look amazing it still looks fantastic very atmospheric piece this is highly sought after on the collector market it is retired uh been retired for a while but um as a gift set too there's a lot of there's enough stuff in there to make the little scene right the trick-or-treaters in there the the maple leaves you have the tree and this is more of a realistic piece i think this would go fantastic in your town setup if you have, or even like the, a trick-or-treating village, you could have this on like a corner, right? It's like the corner diner. It's not like legit haunted. There aren't monsters in here like you would see at um, a lot of the pieces, right? The, the, the Lemax ones. That's the difference, really. A lot of the Department 56 pieces, not all of them, but a lot of the Department 56 kind of town pieces are more of that. They look like a, you know, like a, a spooky, like this one, a diner, right? It looks like a diner that they dressed up for Halloween. A lot of the buildings are like that versus a lot of Lemax stuff where they're like legit haunted buildings with monsters and creatures that are running them. 
This would be the star of the show if you had a town setting, in my opinion, especially like a trick-or-treat village. Um, there's another great diner, one that I've never got my hands on. It's the Retching Pumpkin Diner. I, you're probably, hopefully next year, you'll see that on this channel. Um, I haven't had that one yet, but this one is the other really good one. Again, this is uh, this is the Black Cat Diner. It's uh, it's a Hall of Fame piece. It's the details are awesome. The lighting is great, even though it's not crazy extravagant. It just looks uh, it looks beautiful. It's a beautiful piece, very atmospheric, and I love this one. So, all right, guys. Hey, there's no music on this one. There's no soundtrack, so uh, I'm not gonna play that out. But uh, that's it, guys. Black Hat uh, Black Hat Diner. Let me know what you guys think below. Do you have this piece? Have you ever seen this piece? And, uh, yep, more stuff coming up soon. Thank you guys very much as always.